Hey guys, wanted to do a quick video on tire size. We get asked the question a lot, how big of tires you can run on a stock bike. Well, here is a video for all of you guys that are wondering. This is a stock Renegade Gen 2 platform on 30 inch Gorillas. This is has no lift, no stretch, nothing, and it fits in there okay with just a very small amount of trimming on the floorboard. As you can see, there could be a little bit left because when the suspension is compressed, it can catch on there and grab a little bit more. But a little bit of trimming on that, and it won't be a problem. On this, you have not much space between your floorboard and your tire, as you can see. So getting that trimmed out really helps a lot. As a comparison, on this machine, we have 29 5-inch assassinators. With a two inch stretch and custom floorboards made here at the bad unit shop. We hand built these ourselves and the stretch really helps. You can get tons of room between that tire and your floorboard. You can fit different sizes, different tires on stock machines. Just need to remember to do a little bit of trimming on your floorboards. This goes for Outlanders as well on the Gen 2 platform. We have ran many bikes with different brand tires, High Lifter Outlaw 2s, Gorilla Silverbacks, Assassinators, all on stock lifts and not had an issue. This one caught a little bit because it was not trimmed. As you can see, it needs to be trimmed out a little bit more because if you don't trim it, it'll catch it and it'll break all this out of there. Something else to keep in mind when you're running these big tires, clutching is very important, helps a lot. A little bit of clutch tuning or aftermarket clutches, we run STMs in most of ours. We've had very good luck with them. Stock clutching will turn these tires, but you can definitely tell the power loss when you're getting into the thick mud. Simple power adders like exhaust and tuning makes a big difference. Really helps the bike out. There's been a few big upgrades to this bike too. Stay tuned for that. Haven't quite got all the parts in yet, but as you can see, there has been some changes done to the internals in this machine. She's a beast. Stay tuned.